my beautiful brothers and sisters to the Aquarian Addicts, my platform to become your spiritual server. And welcome Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising to your weekly tarot report for today, May the 1st through May the 7th of 2018. Happy May Day! Happy Beltane! Leo, let's dive into the cards and see what we have in store for you. So right off the back for your attention card, we actually have the Page of Pentacles. So this week, an Earth sign definitely can be play an influence on you, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. But I am channeling that this is probably going to be a Taurus. The reason why I say that is because the Sun is in Taurus, right? We did have this full moon, which was very, very super, it was super, super powerful. This was in your, was it the, your fourth house? So, of uh, you know, your house of healing in many ways, uh, family, home, foundation, um, sense of security. Um, but the reason why I say that you're probably going, to, it's probably going to be a Taurus that really plays a factor is because for Taurus, I actually drew the Knight of Pentacles. So this Taurus is probably actually going to be a bit of a mentor to you this week. It's probably going to help you to really begin to see more of your value. This could be a Taurus Sun, a Taurus Moon, or a Taurus Rising, which is someone who has a lot of Taurian energy. But this person is really going to begin to show you your self-worth and your self-value, and they're going to remind you just how magical you are. Because Leo, come on, you're you're the Sun. Like you are that inner child, you are the you are that passion, that joy. You love love for love's sake. But lately, you've been feeling kind of just like, oh man, it's kind of heavy. Um, probably because you do have the sun, of course, squaring your sign right now. So it probably hasn't been you know the easiest. And the North Node is there, so this destiny is kind of almost like weighing down on you. But destiny is not supposed to weigh down on you. It's supposed to lift you up. It's supposed to make you light. We have bronze as your color which is strengthen your body, which is even more perfect to why I believe this is going to be a Taurus, because this Taurus figure is probably going to come to you this week, and they're going to be like, no, you are so worthy, you are so valued, so, you are so worthy of this abundance, but Leo, you do need to strengthen your body, you do need to kind of get back into your body, because you know, you know, you're a fire sign, so it makes you, you know, very spiritual, and um, very, you know, in the ethers, but Taurus is going to really help you to kind of ground this week. And once you get into your body, you will begin to learn how to strengthen it. Um, go for a run this week. Exercise. Eat healthy foods this week. Really kind of feel your body and just, you know, bless the vessel that you are in. Because, yeah, we are all spiritual beings having a human experience, Leo. But you do have this vessel, and it is a temple. So you want to treat it as such. Treat it sacred and just... Learn to just strengthen it. Send this bronze energy to places in your in your body where you are feeling um, weak and not you know that strong, dilapidated, and send this energy to various parts of your body so you may strengthen and heal. As a result of all this, you're going to be creating your vision with the eagle. This is amazing. You know, we do have Mercury exiting shadow period this week. And you're really going to feel this because, you know, Aries is a fire sign, so it's training you. So really you're going to get this mental clarity this week where it's like, oh wait, I really can create this vision. Oh, I really can create my life based off of my passions and my joy. I really can roar again. And I really can express myself. So really, I see this as a week where, like I said, this Taurus figure is going to remind you just how amazing and valuable you are. And it's going to remind you via like telling you how to strengthen your body, how to really heal, how to kind of get grounded, and how to appreciate the vessel, how to appreciate your body. And then by the end of the week, especially like by Thursday, Friday, you really are going to be um, gaining this new vision of this life that you want to create. Let's read the Page of Pentacles. And here, just to, oh wait, it's going to be the further back one. All right. Solemn child, so grave, quiet and patient you are, older than you seem. 
So this is interesting. This, like I said, it's going to you're going to be approached. You might even be approached by someone who's younger than you, but might be kind of wise beyond their years and kind of just remind you of your value and your self worth. So I want you to be open to the message that you receive from this person because they really are trying to show you that. The life that you create is really based off of your self confidence, and if you have great self confidence and you really do believe in yourself, you're going to create an amazing life for yourself, Leo. And that is your reading this week, to, um, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. I almost said Taurus. That's your reading this week, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can follow the link in the description below to the AquarianAdams.com. And always remember. Remember, my beautiful brothers and sisters, to keep moving forward, to stay focused, and yahoo! Smile often.